Hi there, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing this get ready with me video on this look here. I'm gonna start off with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15, which is what I always do. If you've seen any of my videos, you know this is just what I use to prime my eyes because it works the best for me. Um, and I know that it works when I use it on other people, so if you are looking for a nice primer that doesn't crease and works really well on vibrant eyeshadows, this is what I would go with, um, and I also use this for my under eye concealer, just as a little tip. I'm going to be using all Makeup Geek shadows today, and this one is in Peach Smoothie, which I just love as a nice transition color. I'm just going in with my Sigma, um, it's a fluffy blending brush, I believe it's E40, and I'm also going to be using that same brush with Creme Brulee. And I just blend that nice into the crease and I do kind of blend it up a little bit so that we'll be able to see it after we put on all our other shadows. And as you can see, I'm just blending it and blending it and blending it. You don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. And don't worry if it gets a little bit messy on the outer corner because we're going to go back through later and sort of clean that up. So I'm just going to be going in with Cocoa Bear, which is one of my favorite shades. As you can see, I just kind of press that. I start in the outer corner, and you just want to go as close into the crease as you can. You don't want to bring this up too high, but you also don't want it completely down on the lid either. I just blend and blend and blend this out. I do want it all the way from inner corner to outer corner just because of the um, look that I'm doing. I don't need any kind of lightness on the straight inner corner. The lightness is going to be mostly on the ball of the eye. So now I'm going in with Mocha, that shade right underneath. And I'm just going to be using an E30 pencil brush from Sigma. I just press this into the outer corner a little bit here and then also into the inner corner because I do want the center of the eye to be kind of the focus. This is just, this is gonna end up being covered up, but you will be able to see through it when we go in with the vibrant shadows. And you don't really have to worry about blending this out intensely right now, because what we're gonna do later is gonna blend it out for you. Okay, so this is the star of the show. This is Makeup Geek's Jester. This is one of their new foiled shadows, and I just use my ring finger to press this onto the lid. Um, and what I learned actually after using these a couple of times, my favorite way to get the most out of the foiled shadow to make it look the most um, vibrant and metallic is I would put a little bit on my finger and then spritz a little of my setting spray or if you have like MAC Fix Plus or anything like that onto my actual finger and then press it into my um, lid. I noticed that gave me the most vibrant look and I just went through here and I am using this um, taupey brown color from my Morphe, it's 35 in palette I believe and I'm just gonna press this into the um, crease part just to blend it out a little bit and bring a little bit of the green and that warm orange colors kind of together since they're so strikingly different. Then to add a little bit more depth I'm taking this Envy color from Makeup Geek yeah and I am pressing this into the corner the inner corner and the outer corner and straight into the crease just to give it a little bit more depth and make it look, look a little bit more green. This was a lot of fun for me because I was trying to match my actual um, eye color, as you can see. And this works for all eyeshadow or all eye colors and everything like that, but it was just a little extra fun for me to match it, um, which is kind of what I was going for today. Although I think this would honestly look more um, presentable on somebody who had brown eyes or blue eyes just because it kind of runs all together for me. But I'm just using this L'Oreal, I think it's the Infallible Liquid. Um, liner in the pen. I was in kind of a little bit of a hurry this day and so I didn't want to mess around with any kind of gel liner just because I feel like it takes me a little bit longer just because I'm a little bit more particular about it. Not necessarily because gel liner takes longer just because of the way that I am so particular about how my gel liner looks. So I just went in with a little bit of a liquid wing here. Um, as you can see I just brought it up kind of in a nice like middle 
space between my eyebrow and my actual eyelid. I didn't want too thick of a wing, but I didn't want it to be um, too little either because you wanted to be able to see it. So I just brought that up and then I kind of fill in on the actual lash line. If you guys want a full eyeliner tutorial, I can do that. This is just sort of a little quick, here it is. <laughs> So I am going in with lashes, and for whatever reason today, the lashes just were not, they, they just weren't having it. But these are the Red Cherry 43 lashes, and I do have an entire lash video where I promise they turn out a lot better. Um, that's coming up soon too, because I do get a lot of questions about false lashes. And yes, I put these on every single day. I use them every single day. I just peeled the glue off, and I have a whole video about it, so I can't wait to show you guys that. These are Red Cherry number 43. For my foundation, I go in with C1 and N1. It's the um, the Luminous Silk is an N1 because they don't make one in my shade. And then the regular True Match by L'Oreal is in C1 just because if I mix them together, then I get the nice luminous look from the, that luminous foundation and I'm not too dark. So I'm getting the perfect shade and the perfect um, finish that way. That's just what I like to do. So I'm going in with my um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again, and as you can see, I just kind of quickly do this in a triangle motion under my eyes, so I'm kind of highlighting and contouring, but I'm not doing it very specifically. I just do my typical, where I would put usually put highlight and um, on the center of my nose and forehead and on my chin. I just blend this out with a beauty blender, which is my favorite way to blend out my concealer because it makes it look so seamless. And it also doesn't look like it's very cakey. It doesn't, I, I have so many people compliment my skin and it's just because of my beauty blender mostly. So I'm going in with the, my, these are my Anastasia Contour Kit um, colors and I use that banana shade and I mix it a little bit with MAC Emphasize, which I don't show on camera. But the banana shade is a little too yellow for me and then the MAC Emphasize is a little bit too light. So if I mix them together, I get a nice, perfect color. For underneath of my eye, I'm using that same taupey brown color that I had on this brush before and I just kind of blend that underneath of the eye and then I cleaned that brush off and I used Magic Act which I wish I would have showed on camera because it's such a pretty foiled shadow from Makeup Geek. Um, it's their gold one, um, and I just use this on the inner corner to give it a little bit more of that like almost yellowy tone because I really liked that. And this is just the Anastasia of Contour Kit. Um, the I believe this is Havana, the shade that I'm using. And the brush that I use is actually a Morphe brush. It's like a small stippling brush, but this is just what I love because I feel like it gets perfectly into the contour areas. And so that's what I've been using lately. For my blush, I'm gonna be using that pink color here. This is Spellbound by Makeup Geek. And because I have a lot of warmth on my eyes, I wanted to go with something a little bit cooler for my blush. And I love this blush. It is just like, oh, it is so pretty. I can't get enough of it. So you don't also see this on camera because I'm failing miserably, but I went in with my It Cosmetics um, translucent powder, but any translucent powder will do. And this liner is NYX liner. It's in the color mauve. Um, and I've used this almost all the way down to the bottom, but I love this liner. I just think it's so pretty and neutral. It's kind of like that Kylie Jenner lip that everybody's been striving to get. And then this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Canes, which is also one of my favorites. I like this because it's like kind of neutral, kind of pink, kind of mauve -y but it's not like too pink, it's not too neutral, not too purple, so it works with just about any eyeshadow color that you decide to use that day. And my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara on the bottom lashes, and I think that is everything. So thank you very, very much for watching. I'm sorry these are so fast and quick. I'm very busy, but I'm trying to just film some get ready with me so you can still see what I'm doing every single day. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.